Hex Pentameno and Hex Plaything. Why is nobody talking about this right now? So Hex Plaything works like this. If you hook a survivor for the first time, a dull totem becomes lit, and until that totem is cleansed, the survivor cannot hear the killer's terror radius, ever. And then the way Hex Pentamental works is whenever you go to a totem that has been cleansed, you can bring the totem back. And for each one of them that you bring back, there's a different debuffs that get added towards the game. Now the build works like this. You pick a killer that has either a ability to help shorten chases or has really high map mobility. So, you know, fucking all of them. As you start hooking survivors for the first time, Hex Play thing becomes active on different totems. And as they go to cleanse them, you can then use Hex Pentameno to resurrect these totems and give a decrease to the repair speeds. Now the other effects are really nice on Pentamento, but the main thing that I'm concerned about is the first hex. All you need is one hex totem up to get the decreased survivor's repair speed by 30%. This feels disgusting because you're basically forcing survivors to cleanse four totems, otherwise they straight up just can't hear a terror radius. Follow that up by having to cleanse another four totems just to make sure they don't have a 30% repair speed penalty. It's insane. You could end up clearing, clearing upwards of eight totems. Now with this build, I like to add another hex perk on Rune to encourage them to cleanse the fifth totem as well. So at one point I could resurrect a totem five times. And that makes it to where there's literally 10 totems that you need to cleanse in a game. And then the fourth perk could literally be anything. What makes this build so good is the fact that no matter what the survivors do, the killer is at a huge advantage. If the survivors try to cleanse through all the totems, they have to go through upwards of 10 totems before finishing the generators. That is just insane. If survivors decide to ignore the totems entirely, then not only does Rune stay up to constantly regress the generators throughout the entire game, but all four survivors will eventually just not hear your terror radius, so you basically become just a better ghost face. And if survivors only cleanse some of the totems but leave up other of the totems, then you'll still have the opportunity to use Pentameno, and all you need is one Pentameno stack or one totem resurrected to get that repair speed decrease. This build is disgusting and it's a meta build and I have literally no idea why people aren't talking about it. Let me show you some gameplay. I've used this build once yesterday and I absolutely loved it. So I'm really excited to test it out some more. I mean, I'll take it. Does he know the timing? He does not, unfortunate. Alright, so that's another stack of Pedimento up. Means I now have three totems that are lit. Litty titty. And we've got a teammate killing themselves. Guess this build's just too good. <laughs> Hello? A new victim has arrived. Double Chili is actually kind of broken. Claudette, don't think you can hide from me. I actually don't know where she went. Well done. Did she go down the steps? Oh, right there. I see. Claudette, where do you think you're going? Boom! Totem was cleansed. It begins. Now the real part of this build can activate. Boom. Just like that, minus 30% repair speeds. Fuck. Nice. I'm gonna let this person go. I'm gonna start getting up my Pentamento stack some more. That's two stacks of Pentamento. So now they have minus 30% healing and repair speeds. Get another hook really quickly. Rune's gone, that's totally fine. That's 
three stacks of pedimento. Recovery speed is now decreased. Four stacks of pedimento. This is just disgusting. They have to literally cleanse four totems just to get rid of the minus 30% repair speed. After having already cleansed four totems. And they're gonna run out of pallets. They still have five gems that have already broken about ten pallets. We're not going to get the fifth stack, unfortunately, because someone put up a boon totem. But, I mean, getting four stacks in this game is huge. Just imagine, gens take so much longer now, too. Alright, so they got one of the pimento stacks down, which is totally fine. He's doing another totem over here, which is totally fine. We still have two stacks of pimento. Healing and repair speeds have decreased exponentially. Does he know the timing? He does! What a G! You don't make that though. This game's pretty much over, and I feel like the way these guys are playing, they could have gotten so much closer to the game. Even if I was running a build like Rune Undying, I feel like they still could have gotten so much closer than they did. But I mean, there's just so many tomes you have to cleanse. Look at them, they're trying to work through these generators. It's gonna take over a hundred seconds to finish that generator, I think. I, I can't math, so I can tell you. All right, we're down to one totem remaining. Three people alive. Oh, I hit the wall, but I still did it. Uh-oh, got my last totem. What am I gonna do? <laughs> One gen completed this entire game. Literally disgusting. Oh, I, I mark my words. This build sucks. <sighs> and that's just double chilies being broken, but I mean, that's besides the point. Well, GG's. Tell me this build is a meta. We had a team that was playing stealthy and trying to just push out gens and they couldn't. I absolutely am in love with this build. I'm literally going to be running it on all my killers when I'm trying to win. It's disgusting and I recommend you guys run it too.